Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Subscribers, I love you. And uh, if you're new here, if it's your first visit, uh, welcome and uh, lovely to have you. Uh, on this channel I do plus size fashion, general lifestyle and I'm starting to do a few vlogs. Well, I will be regularly, probably in another week or two to be honest, when things start to get moving again in the big wide world. Um, yeah, so today I've got a pretty little thing haul for you. Uh, it's my first one from them, so that'll be interesting, won't it? Um, I'll see if I'll do another one. This is the first item. Um, and judging by this one, then mm, I'm not sure. Uh, you will see in a minute. But um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's it for the intro. So let's get on with the show. So hi again guys, this is the first item, this dress, um, it's a black um, floral dress, I think they're calling it, it would be a midi dress I think, because uh, I'll take it down in a minute, but it only comes up to my kind of mid calf, so yeah, but it's a no for me, because um, I did size up in absolutely everything in this, because obviously it's a totally new brand to me, so you know, you know you're never sure are you? But uh, one thing, the sleeves are way too long. This is a 24, I believe, so it's, they usually I'm a 22. That's what I didn't mention in the intro, isn't it, girl? So usually I'm a US, UK 22, US 18, and European 50. So there you go. And I'm five foot eight and a half tall. The half's important. Right, so as I was saying, so the sleeves are way too long. This is a 24, UK, um, but it's too tight here. Uh, but it's too big on the top past that point you know that point's tight that bit's tight and then this bit is just too big um so yeah the sizing isn't great it's got a split there that you can see i will tilt you down for a minute just so that you can see that like you know the length of it and again excuse this room at the moment because uh, we still haven't sorted it out <laughs> um so yeah that's the split that's quite nice it's quite high but um, I'd be happy with that if the rest of the dress, you know, fitted correctly, which it does not. So that's the first one done and that's a no. So we'll move on to the next one. Right, OK, guys, so this is the second item, this uh, jacket. I will get the proper description for you. Hold on one second. Because it's one of those long, complicated ones. I Minnie's mean, just sitting on the paper there. She might come over in a bit, you know. Yeah, it's a Black Plus PU lapel long line ruched sleeve blazer. Um, and yeah, it's in, it's in 24 because I said I, I um, size up on everything. Because it's got no fastenings there, it's not meant to be closed. So I think the fit on this is fine. But again, I did size up. Um, these pockets, they are actual pockets. So that's always a plus, isn't it? That's quite nice. So yeah, I think this is a... And that, an actual keeper so that's good isn't it so um but the dress is definitely going back just thought i'd put it on with this so that the sleeves are <laughs> a bit way past that but um yeah but this jacket yeah it's uh it's a keeper so um yeah it's a nice kind of medium weight sort of pu you know it's not too flimsy and it's not really thick so yeah i like it i like the style that it's um well like the style you know it's got no fastenings or anything and uh, yeah, so that's the back view. Da, and that was an easy one. So we'll go on to the next. Okay, right, guys. So this is the next dress, and um, it's got exactly the same problems as the first one, being that it's too tight here. But then it's t from this point again, because I think it's the same kind of neckline. It's too loose and big there. Again, I size up to a 24 in this, but uh, I actually love the, uh, you know, the shape of it and everything. I suppose it's like a skater dress, but um, I'm not going to size up in this purely because then this will be even bigger, you know. Um, but it's very light fabric. It's probably polyester. Uh, is there a tag here? No, but anyway, it's probably, poly you know, that kind of thing. Very lightweight fabric. Um, so anyway, here's a view. So it's got the puff sleeves. Just elasticated there, so there's the view on me. Again, it's a nice length for me, actually. Yeah, I like the length of it. I like the style of it. It's just not fitting right. So for that reason, it is going back. 
So um, the next item I've got, I like to do it straight away for you because it's a jacket that could perhaps have gone with this. <clears throat> so this is a pink faux suede sort of biker style jacket. Now, I've never told you this before, but obviously when I do these hauls, I'm literally taking them out of the bags as I come to do them. So I've not seen them before. I've not taken them out of the bags, which is why they're a bit creased usually. Um, just so you know, this is my first uh, impression of everything. So yeah, let's, uh, let's try this one on over there. It feels lovely and soft. It's quite a heavy kind of uh, fabric, heavier than I was thinking of, but it's lovely, it's lovely and soft. And uh, yeah, it fits, uh, fits really well. I think I might have got a 26 in this, so let me just check that. Uh, you can just see my mirror there, can't you? Because um, with Pretty Little Thing, you do get these, um, these, you know, um, order notes or whatever, which uh, in a lot of them you don't these days, do you? So, uh, yeah. So, where is it? Yeah, this is in the 26. So, it's probably all they had, you know, because otherwise I would have got the 24. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit stretchy as well. It's actually really nice. I like this. It's not quite the colour I was thinking of or the kind of texture, but I do like it. So, and obviously, because it is bigger, I will be able to... Oopsie. Do it up if I wanted to, you know. But as I've said before, on many of my, I'm just looking in the mirror here, on many of my um, videos, my middle is my sort of issue, you know, because I'm apple shaped, so everything, uh, kind of my weight is concentrated. I can't speak today again. It's a Sunday, I don't know, maybe this is what Sundays do to me, but anyway. Um, so, as I was saying, yes, the uh, my weight's concentrated on my middle. I've got slim legs compared to my um, and arms compared to my middle bit. So that's always the issue. But, oh, there's the thing. Is it there? Anyway, sort that out later. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't do it up anyway, but just to show you that it does do up, I think. Does it go right the way up there? Yeah, it would go right the way up there. So, uh-huh. Uh huh, uh huh, and it would look nice, would it not? I think, anyway, you know, these sort of, sort of colours together, it's just that the um, the dress does not fit, so yeah. Um, I'll be keeping the jacket again, but sending the dress back. So, I think I've got another sort of three or four items, I've got a couple of I think I've got one more dress, I've got a skirt, and I've got a top that I thought wasn't actually a dress, so we'll get on to that. And, if there's anything else we find that as we go along so on to the next one right okay guys so this is the next dress i've actually got another dress after this i forgot about which is heresy because it's actually one of the most beautiful dresses i've ever seen how it looks is another thing because obviously i haven't tried it on yet but we will come to that in a minute this one um i've, I've lost my packing notes i mean how i've done that in the last like two minutes who knows but i have so this might it's either a 24 or possibly a 26. I doubt it's a 26, but I will put the details up on the screen as I normally do. Anyway, so this one, it's a, it's a, um, it's a woven material. It's got no stretch in it at all. It's quite a thick, it feels like quite a thick cotton. It's probably not cotton. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I like this shape of it. It's got, yeah, it's got a ruffle on the end, which always helps. Uh, the sleeves are nice. They're elasticated with a slight little ruffle too um yeah not a lot else to say about this it's got a little tie there as well i love the sweetheart neckline um and the sleeves and they are staying up so it hasn't got the problems of those other dresses um let me just tilt you up for a minute i think why that is is because it's an actual thicker and stiffer material so it's actually staying better up here so yeah so that's that one. This one I'm going to keep, I think. Let me just give you a final um, twirl, as it were. And uh, yeah, so onto that, I'm hoping, amazing dress. Right, so this is the promised dress. It's called a Renaissance dress, and you will see why when I bring you up closer in a minute. It's got a cowl neck, which is lovely. Um, I think this is in a 26, because probably... They must have not had the, the other side. Um, 
So yeah, so it's like mesh. Let me see, has it got a double layer? Has it got anything? No, it's kind of all in one. Uh, so uh, yeah, I absolutely love the pattern on it. I'll show you in a minute. It's a bit like my cherry dress that I got from Boohoo uh, in the last haul, um, which again, is just very individual, very different, isn't it? And I love all that kind of thing. The thing is, because I think because it is a 26, so it is, you know, bigger here. And I was thinking about wearing it possibly with a t-shirt or something underneath anyway. And I definitely will be now because number one, I am keeping it because it's bloody lovely. Number two, look at the back. It's way lower than I thought it would be. So to keep it like level at the back, it would have to go down there, which obviously is too far down for my bra straps. Even if I wore a uh, you know strapless bra, I'd still have the same problem. But I absolutely adore it. So yeah, just wear like a I don't know, I might even just wear a black vest or something under it, you know, a cami or something. Or different colour, white one, pale pink one, whatever, you know. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you up close the print of it so you can see that. So it's proper Renaissance, look at all this business. Renaissance paintings and that kind of thing. We're going round. Yeah, it is absolutely lovely. So I will definitely be keeping this one. It's, uh, it's unique really, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it before. It has got these very spaghetti, very thin spaghetti straps, which I don't really like, but as I said, I'd probably put like a, a vest or something under it anyway. So, yeah, that will solve that problem. Look, it's got this here, so I presume, yeah, you can actually ruche it there as well, like that, if you want, if you so wish to do so. Uh, yeah, so lovely. Let me just tie it there for a minute. Uh, Yep, yeah, absolutely love this one, it's a winner. And uh, it's this. Yeah, it's a little bit more interest really as well, isn't it, like that? So yeah, uh, now I've got, what we've got left? I've got, I think a top and a skirt left, so uh, we'll try those. Okay guys, so these are the last two items. Um, there's a top and a skirt, they don't go together, I will explain why in a second. Right, should we start, we'll start with the top actually. Um, this is a kind of disaster on a couple of levels. One, um, I ordered it in a 4X, um, don't know why, it should have been a 3X. So this apparently is equivalent to a size 28 UK and obviously because of that it is way too big. Yeah, here and there. Um, it's a lovely kind of velvety fabric though, which is why I kind of liked it in the green colour. Um, yeah, the other reason is I thought I was actually ordering a dress because on the picture, obviously I didn't pay too much attention to the website, did I? Naughty me again. But uh, in the actual model picture, which I'll probably put up on the screen actually, if I stand here, I'll put it there for you. Um, it's actually like a you know a matching skirt with it as well, but it looks like a dress, and I thought I was ordering that. So, um, but anyway, it's got to go back because it is way 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 too big. Um, but it is a lovely soft kind of velvety material. It is lovely. It's got a little bit of boning here, you know that really bendy boning, flexible boning, plastic boning, presumably. Um, yeah. So, and it's a lovely colour too. What would you call it? Sort of khaki, khaki, olivey. But anyway, it is really nice. So. Onto this skirt, let me tilt you down a bit. I look at the rubbish in my living room at the moment. Anyway, so this skirt, let me just hoist this up a bit. Do it like that. Ooh, crop top. I never wear crop tops. <laughs> so this skirt, actually, I quite like the idea of it. No, no, it's, uh, it's not at all stretchy. It's, um, you know, some sort of cotton cottony fabric I presume it very nearly does up but doesn't and that is surprising because this is a size 26 so that is very surprising um, but I love all the ruching here it's there it's got a slit is it that size yeah let me tilt you down even further hold on a second bear with bear with <laughs> uh, so yeah it's got a slit you know there which is nice nice length um, it's very long on me. Um, I don't know whether it's supposed to be 
Well, it must be a maxi skirt, wasn't it? Mustn't it? Because it's down to my ankles, and I'm, as we know, five eight and a half tall. The heart is golden. Um, yeah, nice colour because you know base colour. They they're calling it camel, so it will go with a lot of things. Um, I love the design of it. I really do. But to have it not quite do up, and in a size twenty six. I think um, Pretty Little Thing, let me just sit down here for a minute and come and talk to you. I think Pretty Little Thing are basically going for Miss Guides' title of, uh, you know, worst fitting brand. Um, so, yeah. But it was still a successful haul because I, I'm keeping the two jackets, the black PU one and the, uh, the pinky suede one. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, two of the dresses, which was uh, the black dress and the Renaissance dress. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's so not bad for a first haul from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I probably will give them another go. Um, not quite yet though, you know, I'll leave it a while. I'll probably try and do a misguided third haul first before I do Pretty Little Thing again. Um, and I've also got a, a Sheehan haul coming, uh, which I mentioned at the end of my last video. So, um, that Sheehan haul, let me just tilt it up properly. That Sheen Hall um, is coming in two parts. I've got the first part already, but I'm waiting for the second part to do the actual haul because I've got like a nice denim skirt and things in that. The first part did have the ear piercing kits in it and uh, I have done them. So uh, yeah, watch out for news on that in the next haul. Um, I also want to try and go to Primark this week just to do a Primark haul if there's anything left, you know, from last week. So uh, that'd be good. I like their pyjamas and things like that. And then NASA stuff, because I absolutely love space and NASA and all that jazz as well. So, um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And to su the, 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 oh. consider subscribing to the channel if you like this kind of thing. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm doing. So, um, with that said, I will see you next time. Bye for now.